Hi everyone, it's Sarah and I'm here with a Bath & Body Works product empties video for um, February of 2018. This is going to be a short video. Um, I do have two items that I completely forgot to grab and they're in the shower and somebody else is in there at the moment and I don't want to like interrupt. So, um, and this is the only time unfortunately that I have to film this video. So, um, Uh, I used up, they were both from Keisha, it was a Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte um, Sugar Scrub and then the Foam Bath, like the Shower Gel slash Bubble Bath Combo that was in this little pumpkin shaped container. I really love both of them. Um, the Sugar Scrubs from Bath and Body that are like that thicker granule sugar scrub are my favorite. Like the Foaming Sugar Scrubs, the Ultra Shea Sugar Scrubs, is it the Shea? or ultra shea sugar scrubs but those are my favorite scrubs um and the bubble bath slash shower gel is really nice i used it for shower gel because our bathtub isn't currently working so well we don't have a bathtub upstairs anymore um we do have like a jacuzzi bathtub sort of thing in the basement and a finished bathroom but i don't know if it currently works down there um so i just use it as a shower gel which was really, really nice, actually. Um, it's a long story. We had a hurricane come through, even though I'm up in places that we usually don't get hurricanes. We did have a hurricane come through years ago, and we had a finished basement, and it just sort of not it flooded the entire basement, and we had, you know, ripped out all the carpet. It's a long story, but um, I don't know if our water even works down there anymore. I really don't. It's been plugged up for so long. Who knows? But, um, so I used it as a shower gel, but it was really, really nice as a body wash. So now that I've rambled, but I thoroughly enjoyed both of those items. So, um, all right, let's start with these. I have two hand creams that I finished off. I finished the Heart of Gold Shea Butter Hand Cream and Sweet uh, Berry Sweet. I have two more of these. One more in the one more in the red packaging, and then I have this was from the VIP bag from um, Black Friday, and then I also have one that came out over the I want I don't know if it was spring or summer of last year. It was black with a gold. I want to say it was spring with a gold heart. Maybe around Mother's Day ish. Maybe before that. I'm not sure, but. Um, honestly, I wouldn't get the fragrance again. I probably could even cut this open and get more stuff out, but, ooh, sorry, I dropped it. Sorry if you can, I'm filming this on the ottoman and these are my kitty scratches, so I'm, I'm sorry about the kitty scratches if it bothers anybody. <laughs> um, yeah, I would not get this again and I'm even to the point where I may end up giving away the other two I have because I really don't, did not like the fragrance at all, so I would not get those again. One that I would and have gotten again is the Vanilla Buttercream. I love this fragrance. This is in the old packaging with the little flip top. I miss the flip top, I have to say. Um, this one was really, really good. I love this. I like, you can tell I kind of mangled the package trying to get every last drop out of there. Um, but I really, really loved this and wouldn't have repurchased. And I really do like that packaging. It's so pretty. I love it more than the vanilla buttercream packagings that are out now. They just, yeah, or that have been out since this went away. This is my favorite. I love that. It's really pretty. Um, all right. I also finished a, another one of my sh uh, conditioners, the Superior Preference Care Supreme conditioners. I love this stuff. I've said the Color and Shine conditioners. I would buy this if it was available. Um, like by itself, I would just buy the conditioner. Oh, right because I love it so much best conditioner on the planet in my opinion this I also finished was the dove dry spray invisible it says no marks on um, no white marks on 100 colors well black is listed down here in their little advertisement and down there and I can tell you it leaves marks on blacks white marks um I've had this since the spring and when I was an assistant manager at a clothing store and used some of this at work, I had white marks on my black jacket. So, um, I have had other doves in the past that seem to do better than this one does and that smell better than this did. So I'm not going to get this again. I, 
if I ever do, I'll, I'd be shocked, but I doubt I'm ever going to get that one again. Um, there are ones that smell better, in my opinion. So, we'll stick to something else, because I got it for the whole no white marks on 100 colors thing, and it didn't really hold that up, so. Also finished a Ghoul Friend hand soap. Dark strawberries, ghostly peonies, spine chilling citrus. This just, to me, just smells like strawberries. I've said that before, um... This is so not a fall scent. The only thing that makes it fall, in my opinion, is the, the picture. And you can just shove it in a sleeve, so... Um, I didn't use this in the fall. I used, this is a spring scent to me. It smells like strawberries, so... It smells like, um... Oh, I can't remember the name of the fragrance, but I know I've mentioned it before. It's, uh... Oh, Spring Poppies and Picnics. That's exactly what this smells like. I think it's a repackage, and honest. And that just smells like strawberries, so... Also finished a Creamy Luxe Kitchen Lemon, Zesty Lemon, Sparkling Citrus Italian Bergamot. This is a really, really good fresh lemon scent. I love that one. Um, I'd prefer it in the deep cleansing, and I've got a ton of deep cleansing, but those are being packed up. I am taking those with me to move, so. Um, in the deep cleansing formula, it's my favorite formula, so. Um, if you haven't heard and you know that I am planning to move, um, I'm putting my move off for a couple of years. I am recertifying my EMT right now. I take my test in like two weeks. So, or less than two weeks. About two weeks. There's like three different... I got a class final. I have a state final written and a state practical. And it's like within the next two weeks, all this stuff's going to get knocked out. So, um, it's crunch time. But um, I think what I'm going to... Actually, I know what I'm going to do. I am going to go back and grab my... Uh, Going to go back as soon as I have enough field experience and get my paramedic before I move. So, really excited yet nervous about that because I've heard the paramedic is very difficult, but um, I want it. So, <laughs> plus it's going to give me more money to work with when I when I am ready to move. So, you know, be able to get something a little more permanent to live in and probably be able to spend more money at Bath and Body Works in all reality. So, um, on to pocket backs, I finished. Three, but first champagnes in Champagne Toast. I finished a Mary Berry Kiss. And I finished a Fragrance Free. Also finished a Happy Birthday Birthday Cake, which is also Pretty in Pink. That's been repackaged. And this doesn't have the glitter in it, so if you love Pretty in Pink but didn't like the glitter, this is the way to go. I personally love the glitter pocket backs. I know a lot of people don't, but... Um, I kind of can't use glitter as much as I'd like to. I will not be able to use it nearly as much. Um, if Fragrance Free ever comes back, though, I have to tell you, because the way my career change is being headed, um, I would stock up on those. Like, I'd buy a couple of hundred of them if that ever comes back, because that's truly fragrance free. It just smells like rubbing alcohol, but it doesn't. it's not as harsh as, like, the hospital sanitizers, and I found that out um, on my ride-along, so... Which is where I use that fragrance free one. I finished a Tacos Are My Spirit Animal in Apple Cinnamon. I hated that. Um, to be honest, it smelled like sweet cinnamon pumpkin with a hint of apple. And I'm not a fan of sweet cinnamon pumpkin. So, finished a Tus uh, from the Sweet Shop collection, a Lemon Chiffon Tart. Just smelled kind of like limoncello, maybe slightly tartier. I was hoping that it would be um, a repackage of... I got it from a local seller that was selling some stuff. Um, I was hoping that it was a, it was the same as a Tuscan Lemon Tart or, um, Southern Lemon Chiffon, but it wasn't. And then the last one was a Raspberry Lemonade. This, I think, went bad. It had, I don't know if the expiration date's on here or not. No. That's from 2014, though. Um, the Raspberry Lemonade, and it just went sour. Um, so I don't know if it went bad or not, but it was na uh, it wasn't nice. It was nasty. And this one's actually a year older than that is. This is from 2013. This was newer, but it just, this was fine. This was horrible. Um, I would not ever repurchase the raspberry lemonade unless it was like a totally new scent. And I, you know, it was, it was bad. You know, I was hoping for more like sun ripened raspberry mixed with a little bit of lemon, but that's not what that was. That smelled really bad. So, um... Yeah, now that I've rambled for nine minutes and thought it was, you know, I'd be done in like five, but hopefully you don't mind my rambling. But, um, 
yeah, that is it for this little product empties video. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.